play hate. It's not my fault you live on the inferior landmass. <clears throat> but uh we did make some changes to Moobot, I think. So you can curse and use some caps. Have fun. Yeah. Okay, oh where's my Normandy mu oh there's the music on the Normandy. I know what we need to do. We need to talk to Navigator Presley. Oh, point defense system, where that at yeah, give me that experience. Mm -mm -mm. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. What did you... Oh, <laughs> don't let the smile fool you, buddy. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Yeah, know your place, you bald-headed sack of garbage. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have... And then we're going to talk about it. <laughs> it's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy, and I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Yeah, I don't see you headbutting like a crow against so we're gonna need all the help yes, we can get. Uh, oh, I got experience for that. Nice. Very, very, very nice. But I think it's time to go downstairs and... This is the elevator, right? Yeah, here we go. Waldo girl is best girl, and you best remember that. Alright. Wow, this is a pretty, pretty lively chat down here. Hey, it's our bestest buddy, Caden! Hey, what's up? friend I think we better get to know you as well as we can right <laughs> commander do you have a minute <laughs> <laughs> shut up Caden make it quick lieutenant I have a lot on my mind this Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction but we can't get back up from the council sorry commander there's writing on the wall here but someone isn't reading it We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Hmm. <laughs> Shut up, Caden. I'm sure your letters home are very poignant. Just keep this kind of sentimentality out of the CIC. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to have wasted your time. Yeah, I really I doubt that. Though. I know it. Hey, well, it's <laughs> you don't like the way things are now. Uh, I think I can help you out there a little bit. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit uh, before we can make some really good stuff happen. Yeah, get that shit out of here. I agree. Okay, what? What? Up? Oh, what? Ooh, pers personnel manual. 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 <laughs> Poor kid. Now we're not going to be able to romance him. Oh, whatever are we going to do? Okay. Ooh, 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 yeah, replenish meta gel station. Yeah, even though we don't need it, but that's okay. Okay. Le oh, hey, this is where Liara hangs out, isn't it? Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? I just want to talk. Of course. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Well, just as long as you don't get uh, caught in any more Prothean barrier techniques. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Promises are easy to make, but hard yeah, to Yeah, talk is cheap! I do not begrudge you your suspicions. I just hope in time you will come to trust me. Romancing the Mako? <laughs> I, think, I think a Geth Colossus got some of that already. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. 
She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Any chance she's in this for power or personal gain? No, not the Benezia I knew. But I hadn't spoken with my mother in many years. She may have changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Uh, <laughs> romancing wings or the Mako? Uh, does wings have a big fucking cannon? I don't think so. GG, no re, game, Mako. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. So you'll have sex with anything? <laughs> now you see how rumors get started. Roll 34! Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. <laughs> Romance Sovereign? I am the vanguard of your ecstasy. I thought you always needed another species to serve as one of the parents. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our home world. Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Why agree to the union if she didn't want any children? I cannot answer that. This is all speculation on my part. It is possible she wanted to be part of my life, but something happened to her before she had the chance. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose Wait a minute, didn't we do that already? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father... Wait, blah, blah, we already Benezia did that. Whoops, Bobby, shut up! It is possible Benezia's partner... Yeah, yep, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm, Many Asari mm -hmm. their children alone, okay, particularly see you later, Liara. It was Goodbye, good fun. Commander. Yes, more experience. It was worth it. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Okay, so we should uh, we should get this out of the way right now. So 
Yeah, because, well, I think this is the part where things start to matter somewhat, so Uno Memento here, desktop capture, uh, right, hold on, Uno Memento. All right, Paul <laughs> welcome to Paul Town for uh, some romance options. There's only going to be two in this game. I know it sucks, but we're going to have to deal with it. Okay, so we got two options here. We can romance Liara. Oh, the, the vote's not open yet, Dingle Fritz. And then we've got a uh, uh, shit eater. <laughs> shit eater. Nah, we'll just do Caden. We won't be that mean. Or maybe, no, we will be that mean. Do we want to romance Liara, or do we want to romance a shit-eater? Alright, uh, open the poll, and poll should be, uh, good to go. <laughs> so it's either vote Liara, or vote, uh, what's-his-face, shit-eater. <laughs> it's exclamation point, vote, and then your choice. This <laughs> isn't gonna be one-sided. But, <laughs> or maybe, oh wait, there was a third, well, uh, no one's going to choose a third option. Or Fornax. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is a Fornax scene in this game, unfortunately. Vote Obama, man, we don't, we, no. Real life politics sucks. Oh, Rex. If only. Sorry, we only we only got two two choices in here. <laughs> Mako, what is wrong with you people? What is this? Got a text from Danny Boy. Played Payday 2 Beta, and it was pretty solid. Bought it for play co-op if you're interested. Thirty bucks. <clears throat> we will take a look at it when the old no dude comes back. And sent. Alright, uh, I think the uh, let's close the polls here. I think that's ample time. Okay, close the poll. Yes, I do want to close the poll. Let's refresh this bad boy. 25%? Good lord. <laughs> That's a lot more than I thought. Jeez. But I think it's unanimous. All right, we'll have to be nice to uh, to Liara. Makes sense. It does make sense. Why do people hate Ashley? <laughs> I wonder why. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Mm, I like where this is going. Sometimes I of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. So that's why she wants to get in my pants. It's not about love at all. Uh, uh, my heart is breaking. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. Mm. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, yes, you did. I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. 
It just makes you all the cuter. Oh no, well, I've got video proof of it now. I'm gonna, I can never forget it. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Ooh, 48 experience. Well, speaking of what Dr. Chalk was, do we, do we want to talk to our guild? Well, of course we want to talk to our guild. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Uh, well, that's okay. We don't want to I talk about go. any of that. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure as always, uh, Dr. Chalkwas. How long has this stream been going on for? Ten hours. Alright, time for a good old-fashioned elevator ride. Loading screen, what the fuck? It's supposed to be just a long elevator ride. Ooh, Alliance Requisitions Officer. Can I afford hey, anything Commander. yet? Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Mm, of course. What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Does he have lipstick? He doesn't have any lipstick that can handle the, the integrity of my lips, the gravity that my lips are putting out. You know what I mean? Let's see what you got. You bet. My lipstick is custom made. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at what we got here. We can sell some stuff. Stimulant pack. Wow. Anti-personnel rounds, motorized joints, yeah. <laughs> Think I'll be selling that. Radioactive rounds. Ooh, toxic C ooh, that'll come in handy. Oop, yep, ooh, these will come in handy. That they will. Reaper. What is this? Oh, it's sniper rifle. Oh, I see. Okay, we'll sell all these pistol. Eh, ah, I'd probably be better off just gelling it. Stimulus package. <laughs> All right, time for the best conversation ever. Shepard, what can I do for you? So long, Rex. Shepard. Oh, I guess we can't. Uh, we can't do it yet. Oh, Shepard, blame. What can I do for Damn! You? Look at the detail on Rex. It's so good. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. <laughs> Don't be a sh just a short one. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good bedtime story if you ask me. Yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. Seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. No, no, Shepard backtrack! I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. <laughs> I wasn't trying to upset you. <laughs> Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. 
and no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Well, maybe I could suck out the genophage with my lips. How about how's that for a romance option? So long, Rex. Use so. black hole lips. <laughs> uh, change of squad members, equipment. Uh, I think we'll pass. Commander. Oh. What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Doctor Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. Their family, right? Bitch, she has biotics. Who cares what you think? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. Hey, keep <laughs> keep this base going on. You'll just, you can just ask me. <laughs> That's none of my business. <laughs> it is my business. I don't think she's used to teasing, good-natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. Kind of like your face. How about I kick it? Ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. <laughs> Yo, bitch. Do you have a few minutes to talk, one on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time, off the record. Oh. Is this duty related, Chief? No, ma'am. Well, maybe. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. What did you say? Should they have full access to the ship? All right, that's it. You're out the airlock. We're done here. You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Yeah, and you're gonna stay here because you. <laughs> oh, do you know what a cro Krogan headbutt does to a young human female? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I bet she doesn't. She was sitting here, fucking sipping on some booze while I was out there getting my shit pushed in by a goddamn battlemaster. Oh, why the M35 Mako? Take that experience, though. Commander, nice work out. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. Yeah, speaking of calibrations, I mean, Garrus must have not been doing it in this game because the makeup is still a big bag of shit and he's always standing next to it. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. The Mako was made by Michael Jordan? <laughs> That'd be like, if that was true, then, the, then should, every time Jordan takes off from the free throw line, shouldn't he end up in, like, the stands? <laughs> <laughs> that sure is that what happens to the Mako. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. All right, glad to have you aboard, Garrus. Everyone, every crew needs someone who can take the shot like a champ. Okay, field integrity monitor. Yeah, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. Core charge status. I know what that is too. Element zero core, definitely. End up flipping over. Every time he sticks out his tongue a little bit, he bites a piece of it off. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. 
I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. Do Quarians old. have actual faces? Google Images! Don't you know? They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Well, I think that's enough crew conversations for go. me. See you later. I should go see you later. All right, yeah, let's time to get time to get this party back on track. And I do think we have like some side quests we can do in some crazy galaxies. I think so. More Mako, less talky. I am O. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Tally's breaking the rules. The cardinal rules of this uh, channel. <laughs> and that's no politics! God damn it. Okay, so let's check the uh, the old journal here. See what we got. Assignment. Strange transmission. On the whole biotic c commune. Uh, find the commune. Head to the century system in the Hawking Edda cluster. Okay. Can do, will do. All right. 
It is very true that Mako does fuck people, and it fucks people pretty good. Okay, where is the Hawking Cluster Kepler Verge Hawking Ada? Century, oh, I guess it's the only one. Yes! No scouting for salvage? That's the point of this game! Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer Torfin, has set up a small compound in a Hawking Eta cluster. He's attracted a number <laughs> of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. All right, yeah, I know it's trouble. He needs to be put down. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. <laughs> They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He's not the same man you served under. He feels responsible for the Alliance soldiers who died at Torfin. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. Maybe I can reason with him? Nope, nope, that's, that smile demands blood. How permanent a solution are you looking for? We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. Okay, so press drop. I think it's I think it's this little moon one, right? Yep, we can land on a tele ho. All right, so we're gonna be finding a bunch of bionics. That means we need our own bionics. See if we can get that singularity lip juice going on here. Krogan airdrop ain't got shit on Mako air.